tonight, college students send their own message about a controversial shirt that keeps showing up. Good evening. I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Tonight, a local sports bar apologizes for selling the shirt, which some students say makes light of a serious subject rape. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us live with tonight's big story. And Brandy, the t shirt first showed up at last night's Creighton basketball game. On it, a message that some students deemed offensive, along with the logo, logo for a local Creighton themed sports bar. And tonight, the school here is calling those t shirts both inappropriate and demoralizing. <laughs> It was toward the pretty much the end of the game when it, things were getting really exciting. And when fourth year medical student Erin Avendet says something other than the game caught her eye, I, I spotted it and and at first I was just totally taken aback, just completely shocked. I didn't even know how to comprehend it. That's when Erin took this picture of a man's T-shirt. It says, "We are not responsible for lost or stolen virginity," and above it, the logo for a local sports bar, the J. The big thing that I perceived was the word, use of the word stolen. Um, now that obviously implies that it's just being taken away from you without your permission. Aaron posted the picture online. Hundreds of people have shared it. There are so many people who are victims of rape. Um, and I think having that open conversation is, and, and starting that conversation is important. People also took to the Jays' Facebook and Twitter accounts, calling the shirt insensitive, tasteless. The bar even took down its social media pages briefly Sunday when they relaunched issuing this apology saying, quote, the shirts were a terrible mistake and we urge the few people who have this shirt to return it and we will give you your money back. We didn't want to attack them at all. We just wanted to start talking about this because obviously, you know, it's not a good thing. Creighton University officials agree, telling us they are stunned and disheartened that a local bar promoted the shirts, that the shirt does not represent university values, and that Creighton condemns sexual violence, harassment, and discrimination. Erin Avendet didn't mean to start the conversation, but she hopes it doesn't stop. I think if we can educate people about things like this, about how, you know, this affects people's lives, not just here in Nebraska, not just here in Omaha. But all over the world. Now, along with the picture, Erin also started a Twitter hashtag, hashtag rape is not a tagline. She also has a new account where you can follow her updates, which is at not a tagline. We've posted all that information on our website, KETV.com, as well. And that's where she hopes to keep the conversation as well as the education going. And also, our calls and messages to the J were unreturned tonight. Reporting live at Creighton University, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7. Christina, thanks. Controversy on a bigger scale tonight in the fight over medical marijuana. Sick pay.